Hello everyone, my name is Ebolon and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to count down top 10 best survival games with thrilling tales. We, just before we dive to the video, I really appreciate it if you click on the subscribe button and like the video or just don't and ignore me and watch the video it's yours no i just kidding don't ignore me and subscribe to the channel okay subscribe 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 you know this is an alert survival games aren't necessarily known for being story driven as the focus of these titles is typically to you know well survive game mechanics like crafting and base building take precedence as well as ensuring you don't die from hunger or even worse still there are plenty of games within the genre that do craft a great story along the way number 10 and our number nine actually the sequel to each other the forest and the sons of forest it's a series of the forest games i don't know if you want to go fast because you know how and you play the forest for sure and you just crash with a plane or helicopter and you, you don't have any information and you gather all the information all of your story and the narrative in the map and you know you easily can be lost and you know just build a base if you are you know just a surface guy you can just be you know search cave for some material but you will never end the game because you know the narrative is something huge in this game but you can easily unseen it number eight subnautica subnautica isn't just my favorite survival game but also one of my favorite games of all time the raw sense of philosophobia you feel as you descend into the depth the terror of encountering your first levitan and the sense of accomplishment you feel as you aim your aquatic surroundings is like nothing else the genre offers uncommonly for the genre it also has a proper fully fleshed out story set in the same universe as an unknown world's other game natural selection planet 456b has tons of lore to discover and as you uncover the secrets of the planet and encounter more of its native inhabitants you slowly come to realize Altera isn't the space where in good guys you start out assuming they are. Number 7 Grounded. Survival games aren't usually known for their gripping stories. Instead, we soak in good survival games for the compulsively engaging gameplay loop they give us. Gathering food, crafting weapons, building bases, fighting enemies, creating farms, growing a community, and basically just thriving on surviving. So if a good story when it comes to survival game is rooted in the environment and the overall premise. Why you needed to spend time trying to survive? To date, no other title's story has hooked me the way the Obsidian Entertainment's Grounded did. Just a promise alone is enough to make you raise your eyebrows in interest. A survival game that's basically a honey I shrunk the kid back your experience. Come on, that's just, just brilliant. And while you don't get cinematic moments or intense dialogue the way you would in something like The Last of Us, every aspect of Grounded's gameplay loop is immersed in its promise. Whether it's a corn bits and a ladybug's shell, you use as a material for armor or the fact that the distance markers ui are in centimeters all of it contributes to laying out the vault of the game and uncovering why your characters have been shink rayed into tininess is the perfect life story for this exemplary survival game number six alien isolation and despite horrors often being noted for generic storytelling i've always found that survival horrors connected more deeply than a straight up survival game the fear of something tangible often provides a stronger goal than just uncovering your hunger. The radiation meters, as we see in other games, manage to grip at my throat, the stick in the memory. And no games does that more than Alien Isolation. One of the few Alien games to understand the power of Cinemorph, Isolation adds to canon of the original movie. While respecting its legacy it pr and provides fear around every corner with an intelligent enemy that learns how you play intimately and several moments that plunge you deep into the alien mythos alien isolation is not just a great survival game it is perhaps the game most, most in tune with adrenaline rush that the very word survive conjures in your mind number five no 
Man's Sky. There are a few games out there. There are a few games out there that are as pure of a love letter to classic sci-fi retro futurism like No Man's Sky. This applies to more than just polygonal ships and surreal alien planets. The story beats scattered throughout the cosmos. Nail that artistic version even more. From the randomly encountered buildings full of some disease to NPCs asking for help, dialogue boxes, play out micro stories, all with a perfect tone and descriptive prose to match the game's entire vibe. There are more than those one time beats, too. Multi stage plot lines like that of Artemis tell somber, complex stories through a very personal perspective, blending the fear and the grandeur of an endless space together. It made me think about existence in a way no other game has. It's all of the mystery and philosophy of Robert E. Hanlane, but without self aggrandizing. To accomplish all that while still retaining its optional hand of approach to storytelling is incredible and something any sci fi fan should stop and appreciate it. Number 4 Silent Hill 2. It's a story that resonates across generations. It deserves familiar surroundings to represent the suffocation and isolation of grief, capturing the rawness of loss and how it can all at once make us feel overwhelmingly alone. It's all dependent on what ending you get, but the story that sticks with me most is how James Sunderland pulled himself out of his despair and puts the past behind him, overcoming his grief not by ignoring his trauma but by confronting it. It's a story that bleeds into the world itself, viewing this powerful message through everything from monster designs to the thick fog obscuring the path forward. Number 3 Project Zomboid there is no set story in Project Zomboid, instead the game provides you with an intricate sandbox where everything is realistically simulated, down to metal exploding in the microwave. Ultimately, the experience is one of the loneliness and horror, it's not easy to carve a life for yourself in the ruined waste of rural Kentucky. And even once you do so, you're faced with the most challenging question of all. What is your purpose in a world where you're the only one left? In my case, I usually collect every mannequin and set them up around my base so I can pretend I have some friends. The best stories are the ones that write themselves. Number 2. Long Dark. Yeah, somebody just commented that why Long Dark is not in your list. It will be my list, anyway. Much like a few other entries on this list, Long Dark doesn't have a traditional narrative. It has characters, locations, context to nerf through its many winter environments, but it also asks you to piece all of these disparate elements together yourself. It is a game about vibes first and foremost, and the tales you can piece together after stumbling into cabins in search of war, trying in vain to figure out who left these resources behind and where they might be now. Even your own identity, which is seldom indulged in, fuels the narrative fire. Okay, just before we dive to the last one, which is this one, I really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoy that. Let's dive to the last one. Number 1 Yomavari Night Alone. Yomavari Night Alone is a survival horror game with a heavy focus on scares rather than typical survival mechanics like crafting and baseball. But boy, do you feel like you're just trying to survive the night. You play as a young girl looking for her older sister, who left home earlier that evening to find their missing dog. You're completely defenseless, you know, able to throw some rocks and paper planes, it does not count far, against the deadly and gruesome yokai that roam the town at night. On the surface, the story is fairly simple, but the depth comes when they consider that you are viewing this even from the perspective of a little girl who barely 10 years old, some of the yokai you come across have fascinating backstories to uncover as well. On the whole, the Overnight Night Alone has a lot to say about mortality and coming to grips with it as a young person.